That look painful. All your time. Oh yeah. No credit, no problem. It's all fresh out of the crate. Best not to mention where you got that, okay? I didn't sell you this, right? There are cultists everywhere, friend! Bolivia is not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next corner. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine, calling from Casper City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't sweat, kids. You're a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not... World, this is... Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the war came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to... Pump. You're fine. I'm covering you. I had no idea we were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to taking a picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will form. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Pedeston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. Until death do us part. Gosh, I remember that day like it was yesterday. Jennifer looked so beautiful. I knew I'd love her forever. And then she was driving along a canyon and her brakes went out. 
I'm moving on now and remarried someone half my age. God, I love banging her. I started my life over with Crimson Executive Spouse Indemnity Services. Life can be uncertain, and you never know when your wife will be tragically taken away. Crimson set me up with a huge life insurance policy on my wife. I can't have her back, but now I have a second home. I was devastated when I found out my wife was cheating on me, and even more so when she fell underneath the train. I was nowhere near at the time, and my phone records proved it. My life changed forever. I was a real mess for hours. Thankfully... Caesar, it's me. Carl, you all right, Holmes? Your sister's been worried. I heard some shit went down. Yeah, Los Santos is dangerous right now. I'm out in the middle of, I don't know, what, Whetstone or whatever that is. I don't know Whetstone too well. I got some family out there, I think. But at least you ain't in jail, Holmes. Shit's fucked up with your brother, is it? You be careful and look after Kendall. Don't worry about me, man. You worry about the man who tries to fuck with my woman. I got some backup coming out to protect you. My cousin. Really intense, Holmes. Trust me. Meet them over at the diner in Dillymore over in Red County. You won't miss them. And most importantly, sportswear. We talked to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who could forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes, he's in the shadows, there he is, is he going to make it? Yes, he did! Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history! Who cares about a declaration of independence or discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point! When the rest of the world discovers TV, you'll be able to see this! Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do! We love sports more than you have in let's talk about it! Stay tight and... Let's go to the phone. Yeah, the Wolves! Hey, Derek. My name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote, I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. <laughs> okay! The Wolves, that's team playing sports as if they care. Yeah, the Wolves! I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with a tight end radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to every one. Me do. I love the games, especially the lose. <laughs> Carl, it's me. Sweet, what's going on, man? Man, what the fuck you think is going on? I'm in the prison hospital, nigga. I know. You all right? Hell no. Nah. You gotta do something, man. I'm trying, man. I just gotta make sure Kendall's safe first. All right, man. I gotta go. Don't worry, bruh. I ain't gonna leave you in there. Communists! And, uh, I had a great childhood. Really great. Even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk and... Anyway, <laughs> wait, wait, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary plan. I love the Callies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're gonna need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they gotta start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. Yeah, I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you wanna be number one, you gotta go for first Place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting scared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they we're gonna play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights in the sports, dude. 
I love your show, man. I, I love you. <coughs> yeah, yeah, look, we ain't talking to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anyway, all right? So we'll be handing out petitions that say support the team. Don't leave the game pee at your seat. Go into the phones. I'm a big pie fan. Love a bit of a punch up. Since my wife and children got taken into a shelter, my friend said, Chuck. Do you want some fatso? You big string of Yankee shit. piece? I sing fucking oh. Eunice with more balls than juice. Oh. What the fuck did you want? Nothing. I'm looking for a friend of mine's cousin, on, Mexican bitch. guy. He ain't here. You? But Cesar said you was a real man. Crazy. Lady, bitch. I'm a God fearing, peace loving man of the people. Whatever, asshole. Let's go. Damn, relax, baby. Where's your car? Where's yours? Uh, ladies don't drive themselves. That's what men are for. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, Caesar. Appreciate I this, homie. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra so, million? What's your name? Where we'll we going? My name is Catalina, and we're gonna take this county for every stinking sense. Okay, good plan, I guess. Your damn straight is a good plan. I've kissed four soft targets. A liquor store in Blueberry, a bank in Palomino Creek, a gas station in Dillimore, and a betting shop in Montgomery. Hold up, which one first? To the driver, you dumb pig, you choose! And this is W. Hand over the tanking so I blow your fucking balls off! This here is bulletproof glass. So you can just fuck off, bitch, before I call the sheriff. What are you doing, son? Just give her the cash. Suit yourself, maricon. Change of plan, Carl. We're taking the tanker. Hey, what you doing? It's called Amorphophallus Titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus Titanium. The sound of it gives me a redwood in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's Amorphophallus I ain't losing another crappy job because of some crazy bitch. Come on, Derek, we're gonna stop those bastards. Do I have to? Try! I know a guy who pay for this freak on his cargo. You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I would try that. Steady, so steady. Advice, we'll get ourselves oh, killed. Sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. Talk is cheap, especially on this station. Lock their Featuring room. More, I don't want to do this. Complaining. WCTR. Notice the traffic just keeps getting worse? Is your commute taking longer and longer because of traffic Keep jams? Keep up with it's not your This fault. ain't my it's fight. someone else's. Tired of watching people on the bus earn special privileges by traveling in a bus-only lane? You can vote to change the future of traffic in San Andreas. Daddy? Yes, on Daddy? Oh my God, I'm gonna die. And paving over train routes, you'll fly across town. People don't have a right to cheap transport. Hello, Mr. Whitaker. Catalina, what have you brought me today? A rig and tanker, full to the brim with premium gas. Never seen it, never saw you, never gave you this water cash. Nice not doing business. Likewise. Now get out of here before the cops come snooping. If you ever want to run some freight for me, just drop in. I've always got shit to move. Goodbye. Yeah. Carl. Who is this? You know me. This is the truth. No, I don't. Perfection. They said you were a moron. Who? Okay, you can drop the act now, kid. You the police? No. We have a mutual friend and business partner. We do? Who? Yes. Have you killed any cops lately? 
Oh man, ten penny. I should have known. That asshole. So I've got a room at a motel in Angel Pine. Make sure nobody follows you. about her high school algebra fantasy. Don't you remember how unexperienced you were in high school? It was over in three seconds. I could never hold my own. Oh yeah? Maybe for you. Do you have a question? I just can't meet the right person. I want to meet someone special. Bobby, Who's that, your sister? No, that's just my wife. Look, I need to meet someone really special, ideally once a week, in a motel, wearing leather, speaking German shit. Um, that's great. Next caller, hello? Yes. Remember, heroes get killed. Like shit after you want a brand or something? Someone else's lighter. We'll see you next time on Lonely Hearts. No wonder these people are alone. That was Lonely Hearts. Having a child was the most miraculous thing I've ever experienced. When Ken and I left the hospital, I was glowing. But after a few months, the novelty wore off. The screaming, the diapers, yeah. Let's face it, nobody has time to raise a kid. I realized after my third child, I hated kids. It's not like you can legally kill them anymore. We're at our wit's end. I'm miserable. Raising children has cut into my life of doing chop, taking exercise classes, and sleeping with my husband's friends. What do I do? You need a nanny. All parents need a helping hand now and then, sometimes full time. At Hampshire Nannies Limited, all of our nannies were trained by professionals. In England, your little darlings are our priority. If they act up, they'll be punished properly. None of this time out or ghosting in the corner business. We'll bring your children up in the classic English manner by making them learn Latin and beating them half to death in a single sex environment. Discipline gave us an empire. What's more important, your happiness or your children's future? Call Hampshire Nannies today. Say it with me. I need a nanny. I'll bang the nanny. That's right, you need a nanny. Hampshire Nannies. Next up, it's sensationalist propaganda. I mean the news. Hit. I'm Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Here's what you should think matters. Breaking news. Strange lights spotted over the desert. Here's an eyewitness report. I mean, strange lights over the desert. Yep, sure. Hey, what are you currently doing? we have no more information. In other news, residents are upset at taxes funding the Los Santos Museum of Natural History. This fascination with the past is ridiculous. I mean, I've been to Pangea. It was disgusting. Our ancestors were idiots. My grandmother can barely talk, she's so stupid. Also, organ theft. How to know if you're going to wake up in a bathtub of ice. More gang violence. We go to the streets of Los Santos with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns, and I am in a terrible part of town. A town under siege by hoodlums. Gang and drug wars are plaguing the city. Hey, you went this part or what? Yeah, just put it in. A huge sudden upsurge in cocaine sales have been reported. The street wars between gangs of Ballas and Grove Street hoodlums came to a head recently when several senior Grove Street gang members were killed while others were incarcerated. The police described that as, and I'm quoting, excellent news. Back to you, Leanne. Hey, is this been cut? Hell no, it's good shit. Bridges linking Red County and Flint County finally reopened recently after long delays following the earthquake. The governor congratulated himself extensively. 
in entertainment news. First it was the budgies, then it was Idiot. Love Fist. Now the British invasion starts up again. This time from the Scottish village of Madchester. New band the Gurning Chimps are tipped for stardom. We caught up with the lead singer Macker when he landed in Los Santos Airport. The Gurning Chimps are coming to America, man. We're gonna take over. Mark my words and wipe my... Somebody in there? In here. <sighs> Check this shit out. What do we have here? Yo, Carl. What up, kid? Hey, what's happening? Oh, uh, is this undercover training? Oh, no, you must be off duty. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hush up, man. Mr. Truth here is going to be supplying you with some of the finest we and you are going to deliver it for us. Hey, man, you losing it. You hallucinating this shit. What? Oh. Yo, True, come here, man. Welcome, friend. Sup? Carl here is going to be paying you your money. <sighs> what you talking about? Now, Carl, I got a real do-gooder fucking with me, and I want you to take this evil green poison and drop it on him. <laughs> it's gonna ruin that asshole's career. Oh, bullshit. Dudes, you want mushrooms? You lose? How about some DMT? No, not for me, man. I got a jet. Whew, shit. I'm fucked up. Yo, Carl, pay the man. Whoa, man. I never thought I'd see that. A Fed out smoking me, huh? What are you, dude? FBI? DEA? Nah, I'm more like a private investigator. Friend, you give off a positive energy. How about some Vietnamese opium? Nah, I don't get down with that. But how do I know I can trust you then? What? I'm working for you now? I'm a man of peace, but some squares across that ridge are not respecting my peace. I mean survivalist maniacs, right-wingers, fascists. They have a harvester and I need one. Get it, then you can pay me. Namaste, Carl. The fuck that mean? Later, freak. Because all of Hey, Maurice, first time caller. My name's Mike. Hey, I work on my lawn and garden.
cars all weekend long because they got this raging edifice complex. I like drinking beer and riding around on the lawnmower too because, you know, like... But what's really killing me is I can't seem to get these weeds out of the driveway. I tried napalm, I tried gasoline, of course. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Listen, listen, I want you to listen to me. Are you listening to me, Mark? It's Mike. Okay, good. That was a test. Okay, I know what your name is. I know it's Mark. Now listen up, listen closely. I want you to pave over your entire life. I want you to just pay. You come to the wrong farm, boy! This ain't no country club, fella. Oh! Just a gun. Beat him down! It's all he's good for! You want a hole in you, huh? Don't know, but it looks kind of shifted. Roll him in some pig shit! about the proposition to ban smoking? Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. If you want shout out. Man, you've brought peace back to my valley. Thank you, friend. I'll call you when the whoop to do is ready. Just make sure you get that cash. Hey! Carl, it's Caesar. What's up? Bad stinky shit, that's what's up, Holmes. What's wrong? Where's Kendall? Is she okay? She's with me, she's okay for now. The varios los aztecas, it's all over. There's a price on my head. Maybe Kendall's too. What happened? Trust, respect, honor, they don't mean Jack and Los Santos now. My OGs, my S's, all dead or in hiding, eh? Get out of town. Head over to Angel Pine, rent you and Kendall a trailer, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Well, I just got some shit to take care of, and uh... No, just get my sister out of town someplace safe. Don't shit with me on this one. I can't lose her, man. Sure thing, Holmes. 
We'll see you in Angel Pine. On my land. Just want to say thank you. That's quality broadcasting. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Did I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation! Oh, God, give me strength! I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. Very foolish. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. There was a conniving bitch and we'd write me any more prescriptions for pain guilt. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Said. There's a gritty new show this season oh, of Weasel, where the law is the drama, and the drama is the law. What the hell did you go to law school for? I haven't changed at all. I was always over-competitive and shallow. I have a disabled brother I pretend doesn't exist. I only married you because you've got great guns. Law. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel before it catches you. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler. Hey, Carl. How you doing, sis? This ain't over, man. I did this to take care of my woman. But now I'm gonna head straight back home and I'm gonna cap me some fucking dope dealers. Hey, look. You going to the barrio with that Big Willie bullshit and you gonna get shredded. And I ain't losing you over no macho bullshit. <sighs> hey, relax, man. It's gonna get handled when it's time. We already know who the fucking bad guys are, man. Your stinking grocery for the smoke and those chota pigs, Ted Benny and, and Pulaski. Smoke, he's a pusher, man. No, no, not Smoke. He might mess with Crash, but he don't mess with no yay. Come on, CJ, how you think he got that new house, huh? Just let that grow for life bullshit go and take a look around you. Word on the street is twice a week. Smoke sends a car out to San Fierro and the trunk comes back full of white. Shit! I gotta keep my eye on the highway to San Fierro. Maybe I'll see something. Just, just lay low and I'll be back. Hello? Where'd you be in call? Why don't you call, eh? Well, I was just about to call you, but... Liar! You'll be hanging out with those sticking putas! No, no, if you just let me... Just silence! Get up here! We've got places to rob! Look, I'm in the middle of some shit right 